Here we have the 67 Mustang. We've done a few modifications to it, which uh, we'll walk you through a little bit later, but we've converted it to a five-speed manual transmission, fuel injection, rack and pinion, and coilover suspension. And above that, we have the restoration modification project of the 69 Mach 1. So I'm here with my buddy Chris who owns the two Mustangs. So I'm going to flip the camera around, let you talk to him. He can walk us through the cars a little bit. Hey Chris, say hi to everyone. Hey folks, how's it going? All hey. right. You want me to show you around? We'll uh, take a look at these uh, old beasts here. You sure. Let sure. Us know. What have you done? Well, okay, so um, not much that's good, but they still run, so, <laughs> so we're doing okay. Well, it is a Ford, so. Yeah. <laughs> Second to divine. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So uh, this car here, it's a it's a C code. Uh, it was built in San Jose, and uh, C code means it's a two barrel, two eighty nine V eight. Uh, now this car I purchased uh, just over a year ago, and the intent was to get a responsible daily driver, of course. So I could have bought a new Mustang, but no, that would be way too easy. So uh, this car actually was uh, factory original red on red, candy apple red, uh, T code for the color, I believe. And uh, in red, uh, it had the deluxe seat belts. So there you go. That was pretty much the only option on this car. Uh, it's been converted since. Uh, when I bought this car, the uh, previous owner had done some work to it, uh, primarily in the uh, front disc brake conversion. Uh, so once that disc brake conversion was done, buying it, uh, you know, saved me from having to do that work. So that was nice. Picked it up for a good price at the time. Uh, it actually had the original three-speed in it. Um, that wasn't going to work. Uh, it has a has a 279 uh, open diff rear. Well, in let's, it. let's have a look at the shifter here, Chris. So. Sure, sure. So. So you said it had a three-speed. What's going on with with it now? So we we put a uh, junkyard special five-speed in there. That's a, literally a $250 Canadian transmission. And uh, yeah, it's a five speed, it works great. Whines a little, but uh, just adds to the nostalgia. What can I say? <laughs> um, got a little bit of uh, accessories going on there. I've taken out the radio, I'm gonna put in a nav unit in there. Um, okay. Going to uh, do a few more mods in turn in, inside. I wanna keep it reasonably stock looking, uh, just with some convenience modifications, you know? So. Walking up on the car, I, I kind of want to give it that 80s feel, you know, that 80s feel where you had the back end raised up a bit and, you know, the fuzzy dice kind of look. So that's kind of what we're going for, a little bit of that and a little bit of modernization. So moving around back, uh, just finished this piece, which was uh, the Holly Sniper EFI conversion. Uh, very expensive conversion. Uh, probably around 3,000 Canadian money uh, to get that done. Uh, that did include the baffled fuel tank, so they make these direct fit uh, replacements. Uh, Holly does. Uh, you can just drop them in. Overall, I would say the system works really well. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it overall. There are some uh, things you have to do to dial it in. Uh, getting to working out the bugs, and uh, I think we'll get there pretty quick. So. Right on. Yeah, Let, so that's let's the, uh, move out to the front of the car sure. and check out the other end of the fuel injection. Sure, after what we got. All right, so here's what we've got uh, a lot of uh, half baked mods, but <laughs> so <laughs> it's not too bad, pretty clean under here. We've got a few things to clean up, a couple of wiring points here or there, but for the most part, we, we tied yeah. it up pretty good. I mean, I mean, it's, it's functional. Um, take... So, uh, what we've got under here is uh, the Holly. Uh, EFI, the uh, the throttle body injection. Yeah. Um, so that's the sniper. It's the the baseline unit. It's not the dominator. Um, fits right under. You can kind of see it under there. So that's your uh, computer and everything. That nice throttle body injection. Bought a Wyland uh, Stealth intake to uh, go with it. So that combo I'm finding works really well for me. Now, the uh, motor has never been rebuilt. It's got about 85,000 miles on it. Uh, and yeah, it's what, 53 years old now? So, so far, no knock, no problems there. Bit of an exhaust leak, but uh, overall it runs pretty good. Here we've got the uh, Powermaster 150, 150 amp, I believe, alternator. 
um, four core aluminum radiator Mishimoto uh, works like a charm and then I have the uh, Mishimoto uh, pull based electric fan here was really disappointed um, they uh, they actually make a really nice shroud that bolts in uh, but unfortunately just didn't have enough clearance uh, we did try and uh, we may have interfered with the water pump bolts a little bit. So uh, this is fan number two, but <laughs> <laughs> we enough. tried. Right. Cruising on the 67 today, beautiful day. Nice day for a drive, With window down, car's running great. We're looking for a 302 to put into it. Take the 289 out, we'll preserve that. We're gonna go pick up the 302 today. We're gonna build that up, transplant it in here. Uh, Chris has the truck, he's borrowing it from me, so I got his car. I'm enjoying the drive. You guys have a great day. Okay, today we're at Chris's place again. Say hi, Chris. Hello. Uh, we're gonna take the 67, go get it a fresh coat of paint, get rid of the vinyl top, which it's ridden of, but uh, we're gonna get some paint on there and get rid of the rack and stuff in the process. Looks to be in pretty good shape, but she's been sitting for the winter. Let's see if she'll fire up, get her loaded on the trailer. Yeah, bump it a bunch of times, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> Everyone within 10 square kilometers, please evacuate the area. Brent is now driving. I love that fuel injection. Yeah. <laughs> To this side a little bit but you're okay yeah, I think. I'll be fine that's it's front and back that I'm concerned about oh the front and back is dead on you're perfect you're yeah. gonna hit the door or is it clear you're clear okay. that's how you load a car 